Do you remember Rip Burn Mix? It was a pretty popular and controversial ad campaign back when Apple launched iTunes. I think right around when iTunes first came out. And basically, it encouraged you to rip or convert your CDs to digital MP3s so you could actually sync them over to your iPod. So you could, you know, rip them, create mixes and, and playlists and stuff like that, sync those over to your iPod, take your music with you. And, uh, you know, that's what we did for a really, really long time, right? We did syncing of our music to our iPods. That's before iCloud Music Library came out. That's before the birth of streaming services. And, uh, you know, now with that happening, very few people or less and less people seem to be ripping CDs uh, and putting music into the music app. But there are still people out there who want to do exactly that. Uh, the problem is these days that uh, Macs, most Macs, don't have CD or DVD drives. So how do you do that? And that's actually what Ron asked me this week. He said, do you know of any standalone CD player that could be used to transfer music from a CD onto an iPhone or an iPod? And I don't know about, although I imagine this might exist, some sort of device that could actually rip MP3s directly onto a a hard drive or a USB stick. I'm sure they exist out there. Um, but for just getting music off of a CD onto your Mac and then eventually onto your iPhone or iPod, it's pretty easy these days to get a compatible, a Mac compatible external USB DVD drive. And they're relatively affordable. I think you can get them as low as, you know, 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, and actually, iMore has a really great uh, list of kind of their five favorite ones. I will link to it in the show notes at maccast.com. I personally, I think I picked up a, like a Samsung one uh, years ago, and I have it up on a shelf, and I pull it out whenever I need to uh, either convert a DVD or, you know, get a new CD and, and put that into my music library. And it works great. You just connect it via USB, it mounts, and uh, you rip away. So to rip, you still use iTunes. I mean, uh, music. <laughs> it's the music app now. They rebranded it. But it basically has all the same functionality. It still works the same old way that it always did. So you just open up the music app, uh, go into the preferences, go to the files tab, and then click on the import settings to set up the format that you want to import your music to your Mac uh, as so you can do mp3 although i would probably recommend nowadays you use the aac with the itunes plus option that's basically i think the format that apple essentially rips most itunes music in uh, before they went to lossless i guess you could also do lossless if you want to do that and you have devices that support lossless now uh, but the aac itunes plus is probably going to be the most compatible with your uh, your apple and your mac devices if you want to go you know fully compatible with everything, stick with MP3, uh, and that should work fine for you. But whatever you want to do, uh, set up your import settings, and then you can insert your CDs and rip away. Just pull it right into your um, music library. And then once you have it in the music app, all you have to do if you want to sync it over your device manually is hook up your iPhone or your iPod to your Mac uh, using a cable or uh, wirelessly, select it in the finder, and then sync that music over to your device. And of course, if you have iCloud Music Library, you could sync it up there and then sync it that way as well. So it's pretty easy these days to get that in there. Biggest challenge really is just getting a, uh, a DVD drive or a CD drive that you can actually connect up to your Mac. But they're definitely affordable, definitely out there. And uh, uh, Ron, I hope that helps you out uh, with your solution and have fun uh, ripping your CD library. <laughs> 